What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am at the Minnesota State Fair and I am about to eat everything in sight. Oh my gosh. This is an epic cheat day. Everything on a stick, everything deep fried. I have no idea even what they have here yet, but we're gonna explore it together. So let's go check it out. I just got my first fair food. It is spaghetti and meatballs on a stick. I imagine it looks better on the inside. <laughs> yeah, it was basically a giant meatball. I think I see one spaghetti noodle. Yeah, there's some spaghetti like sort of in there but it's i wouldn't call that spaghetti and meatballs I'd it's call like that meatball and some spaghetti it's like some spaghetti accidentally got on this meatball that i wanted to deep fry <laughs> you can't even maybe, see it maybe you just bit into the part where the meatball is I'm trying to see if there's like more around it but you can see a noodle there false advertising Liars! Is this edible? No, the stick is not edible. Don't eat the stick. Don't eat the stick. I thought maybe it could have been a breadstick. That would have been clever. <laughs> that would break in an instant. There's no way a breadstick would be strong enough to hold that. Now that added At least a breadstick that you'd want to eat. Otherwise, you break your teeth on it, probably. Yeah, that's true. All right. Consensus. It was a giant meatball on a stick, deep fried. On the other side. But was it good? It was an average tasting meatball on a stick. <laughs> Case closed, folks. Case closed. Moving on. Okay, so next for foods on a stick, <laughs> this is an egg roll. It is massive. It is almost as tall as my head. I like the taste of it. I don't know, it just really depends on what it's And then I have sweet and sour sauce and this, like, what was it? Fish sauce that is actually meant to be dipped or meant to have the egg roll dipped in it. So maybe we'll try the fish sauce first. It's so crunchy. Yeah. Especially that top bite has got the whole top part of it in it too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, we will we go to the place. Okay, we just gotta wait. Alright. Here's the sweet and sour. I think I know where we might go get some garlic butter. Well done, so. It's actually not bad. There's a lot of meat in here. And the meat is really juicy. There's like some vermicelli noodles and a little bit of vegetables inside of the meat. And the batter is like obnoxiously crispy. How am I supposed to access? 
the rest of this. I've got to like move it down. This is very good. Definitely better than the spaghetti meatballs on a stick. My friend Michelle, who's holding the camera for me right now, just said based on that performance, she would want to marry me too. How bad is this going to go? How bad? Alright, moving on. This is a full-on bucket of cookies. They're little mini cookies. I looked it up. They're 90 calories each. They definitely taste like the kind that you get in like the refrigerated section of the grocery store. They're still good though. I like Nestle. <laughs> One bite. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the name of the place in Atlanta. What's it called? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is my last one for right now. Then we're gonna move on. They're literally over there with like a massive spatula because everyone orders these freaking buckets. And when you think that they're done putting them in the bucket, they're not done. You just keep adding them on till it's like up to here. We dropped our cookies everywhere actually. <laughs> and this was only $17. Good deal, actually. That's a lot of cookies. Yeah. Oh my god. 
So many cookies. All right. I'm not sure where we're going next, but I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, wife. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, if you ladies are looking for somebody to bring home the bacon, I got it right here. Come try to make it. All right, guys, we're at Big Fat Bacon on a Stick. Oh my god, that's so good. So the bacon has like maple syrup coated on the outside. And they have orange chipotle sauce and chocolate sauce that you can drizzle on top. It's really meaty. And it's like, it almost kind of like hammy. It's got that like sweetness. Definitely chewy. die from salt shock. That's just fat. All right. See you at the next place. It's really crispy on the outside, actually. And the hot dog tastes like it was boiled. I want to know what happens to my throat when I get to a certain point. You just gotta slide it up the stick. I'm 
I'm not sure how to make that happen. Yeah, there we go. It's really not moving. <laughs> it's not moving. You want me to get it for you? It's so hot. Oh my god. It's massive. 18 inches. That's a foot and a half, right? A foot sure and a half? Is. That sure is. I'm so proud of you for knowing that. Yeah, so when I was putting ketchup and mustard, right now, is he? Yeah. So there's a guy behind me taking pictures at the hot dog stand, and like Shane's videoing right now. He's videoing me adding like ketchup and mustard to my massive corn dog, and he's like, "Can I get a picture of you doing your thing?" And so I'm like, "Get a video." He's got a picture. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Who I don't know. For. Who to look to? Who? I would say he was most important because everyone watching this knows what they're getting. You don't know where that's going. Yeah. Where's he going to put my picture to? Maybe we should go and ask him. Maybe we should ask if he'll tag you in it. What? It's right there. You should ask him. I'm in the middle of something. I. Literally... <laughs> I don't know if you're in the middle of that or if you're still in the first quarter of that, to be honest. I mean, oh my God. Oh, yeah, those are dogs. Bored of eating it. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. It was also like here. Well, that's like half of it. How you feel? You know. I feel like I've eaten a significant amount today so far. Um, they've all been kind of like small things. I've just been like tacking a bunch of small things on. This has to equal at least three small things. Oh my gosh, guys. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. This is so much corn dog. Oh my god. I'm so thirsty. So thirsty. Yeah. Oh. 
The fair is winning. Holy crap. I feel like I don't want to eat it anymore. Guys, I don't want to eat it anymore. I had a little over two thirds. So you ate three quarters. Three quarters? All right, we'll go with three quarters. I ate three quarters of it. I will take that into consideration when I'm tallying up all these calories. I'll see you guys the next time. All right, so we just went and got this dark chocolate dipped key lime pie on a stick. And it's the only thing that's had the nutritional information on it today. It's 300 calories. <laughs> it is really good. Delicious. itself is really tart. We're from South Florida, so we're used to the good stuff. God, this has just got so much flavor. It's incredible. Yeah, the dark chocolate's really great with it too. Five dollars. This is. Yeah, five bucks. So it's got bitter and sweet and tart and creamy and crunchy. Yeah. Woo. That was probably the best thing I ate today. You heard it from the toughest critic in the book, y'all. This steak is the sandwich, best. Steak sandwich is good. This is definitely better. Three hundred calories. Only three hundred. <laughs> I mean, guys, I've been trying to look for foods that are high in calories. I genuinely believe that anyone who's doing a ten thousand calorie challenge and actually succeeding, fucking freaks of nature that are like fifteen. And their fat doesn't distribute anywhere yet. You'd have to eat over 30 of these to get 10,000 calories. Do you guys think that's possible? I couldn't eat 30 of them, and I eat a lot. And I mean, part of that's because of how tart it is. Like, I just wouldn't be able to eat that much tart shit, period. But just the volume of food, too. The I, volume of food. It's very dense. It seems impossible. Nah, someone can do it. You just have to find more um, calorie the calorie. How? What's the word for that? Calorie. 
calorie. foods with a lot of calories. Yeah. Is there a word for that? Calorie rich? I'll buy that, but that's still two words, not one. Whatever. I'm looking for one word. Cal I'm just going to call it calorific. Uh, you'd have to find more calorific food. Calorific foods, guys. I really don't know if I'm going to be able to eat anything else. I've eaten a lot. A lot. And I haven't added up all the calories yet, but it's probably about like 3,500 or something. Yeah, it's probably about right. Maybe a little bit more. Granted, it started at like 3 p.m. So it's been like four hours or so, but still. All right, I'll either see you guys in a minute in the car or I'll see you with some more food in my hand. All right guys, so I just got back into my car from the fair. Um, we tallied it up and I ate a whopping four. <laughs> thousand calories today um but this fair was so much fun um it was extremely crowded today they were saying that this could actually be a record-breaking day for the minnesota state fair i mean you could not walk it was so crowded the lines were really really long but it was super fun to walk the whole thing see all the rides see all the crazy foods that they have so that was our first minnesota state fair experience and i will definitely go back but on a slower day for sure if you have questions about any of the foods that I ate on a stick or not on a stick today, please comment that below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. If you have any questions about the state fair in general um, or just anything miscellaneous, you can comment that below as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Typically, I go around and I review foods. Um, I sometimes do food challenges like this, but most of the time I go around and I review individual items at restaurants. I will make something at home or order something in at home. I'll eat it and review it for you. So hopefully adding some value into your life and you get to watch me eat a little bit too. And yeah, this, this has been fun, but now I'm extremely tired. I just want to go home and take a, an extended nap and wake up tomorrow sometime. All right. Thank you so much for watching again. I will see you guys next Tuesday for not an eating challenge. Trust me but it'll be exciting. So I will see you guys next Tuesday. Love you. Bye.